Hello, this is David Wamsey, and in this video, I want to show you a great new addition to the Beaver Builder theme that you could have very easily missed because there was no big announcement of it. And what it is, is the ability on our blog post to be able to set these on an individual basis so they show no header or footer or they are full width. And this has been made possible due to an update to WordPress itself. So last week, WordPress 4.7 called Vaughn came out. And if I scroll down their page, almost to the bottom here, there's a, a mention of the post type templates. Now, templates were PHP templates, these are, were always available anyway. And in the Beaver Builder theme, we can select to have no header and footer with those, but they weren't previously applied to posts and they now are. And the Beaver Builder team have been right on the ball. As soon as this was released, they also released a couple of templates for us to use. And that's what I'm showing you here, but also I'm gonna move on to custom post types because you can easily set it for those, but it does mean a little bit of just changing something think on a couple of files but really simple stuff so I'm going to cover that later as well so let me just go back over to the blog post that I've set up here so the first thing probably to mention is that this will work obviously if you're just doing blog posts in the normal editor WordPress editor at the back but I think the real value in these is if you start to use the page builder to front end build out your posts and I better just quickly cover that you need to make sure that you set that on so I'm just going to go into my personal site here and what you need to do is to go over to settings page builder go over to the post types and make sure that you've got posts ticked on and saved and also if you've got any custom post types that you've got in your install you'll need to make sure that they're also turned on as well so page builder can be used on those okay let me just pop back again so before the new templates were added the page builder so I think it's that one is it no this one let's go into this one and you'll see what the problem is before by default these are set to fixed width now I wouldn't necessarily need to have the sidebar if I went to the customizer I could remove the sidebar but here I would still be contained within a fixed width area which wouldn't allow me to create any great effects but now we can select in the back end to turn it on a different template and now I can go full width. And here what I've done, gone full width, but I've dragged in a sidebar module here. So it looks similar to other pages. And that's pretty much it. Let me just go to the bottom here and cover this because what I need to let you know about is that the page builder still only works within the editor area of WordPress. So this comment section at the bottom here is just centered and left as it normally is. You can't edit this with the page builder at the moment so you would need to use css styling to be able to do that but my hope is and i've certainly requested it is that the beaver builder team create a comments module so then we'll be able to turn off comments on our posts and be able to place them in the page builder and also style them there as well so hopefully that will come let me just go over to the last one which is no header and footer just to show you that it works and you know this could create some cool effects you could with using the manual module, you could create a new header layout on the top, a sort of fake layout of a header and have an image there going through to the home page and create this kind of effect as well. So let's just have a look in the back end at it. So I'm just going to go into edit post. Now, all of this stuff here I have covered. So in my link below, it'll take you to my demo site at only.beaverjunction.com and you can log in and play around. So if you go to the front end of this, you can log in, get your own install and mess around yourself. But all the notes are here on what you need. So let me just go back again into the back end here. And here we are, as you see, I've got that one selected to no header and footer. And as you can see on this one, under discussion, I've not allowed comments, so the comment section has disappeared. And if you're not seeing that, you just need to make sure that you've got your screen options on and discussion is ticked so you can see that and turn off and on comments as you like. So let's move on now to the custom post types. So this is where we need to start messing a little bit with some files. So I've got a local version here and I'm in my WP content. And if I go over to the themes, I've got my 
parent or BB theme over here. And as long as you've got the latest version of the theme, you will find these two files. Now, if you take these and copy them over and place them in your child theme, then all it is is a case of adding to here. So where this one says post type is just post, I need to put in whatever my, whoops, let's get the right thing. I need a comma there. So I've actually done this and I'll show you this in a minute. So on my one, my slug, for my custom post type or URL was called uh, prod, oops, products. Okay, and that's all I need to do and save that. And the same, I've opened it up earlier, so I need to add the same in here, a comma and products again and save that. And then it will pick up on my custom post type. So if I go into another install and this little preview of videos that are coming up, um, because I'm actually going to set up another site which you can come into, which is using WP Types' toolkit with Beaver Builder, which gives a lot of power and uses custom post types and all sorts of clever stuff. But I'll be moving on to that later. But as you can see, I've set it up and now we have these options. If I hadn't have done those changes to my child theme, then these would not be available, but they can apply just as they do in posts. So I think I've covered everything that I need to. Hopefully I'll see you again very soon when I start to talk about WP types and all of that good stuff. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.